Well, hi there. I am so excited to show you behind the scenes of Preschool Covey. My name is Cheryl Hatch, and I'm the owner and creator of the website Preschool Planet, which is where I send you the weekly newsletters from currently. And I'm also the creator and owner of Preschool Covey, the membership. So I wanted to show you there are four areas of the members area, and I wanted to show it to you because I don't know about you, but I'm super visual. So it really helps me to see things as opposed to just hearing about them or reading about them. So the three most popular areas are the themes, teacher resources, and professional development. So let's go into the themes because that's one of the top uh, reasons that people join Preschool Cubby. We have many people who join for the trainings, but the, the themes are extremely popular as well. So in this area, we currently, as of this recording, there are over 250 themes <laughs> in here, and we add two to four new themes every single month. We never run out of ideas because we have our Cubby members actually send us ideas of, hey, our kids are really interested in this lately, like they might be interested in boxes, or we had one uh, group of children who were real, they were really interested in secret agents and ninjas. So we created these secret agent ninja themes. So anyways, so, and we also have very traditional themes. So when you come to this page, you can sort them all alphabetically. We have author studies. We create um, six new author studies a year. We create six new Bible-based studies a year, um, Old Testament and New Testament. And we have holidays and celebrations, or you can sort them by season, depending on what season you're in. Or you can just scroll through this page alphabetically. We have some traditional themes, like All About Me, some uh, community helper themes, and as well as some other fun ones, like, you know, um, as you can see, it goes on and on and on. Um, as I said, non-traditional ones, such as secret agents and all that. So we had one, this was a um, recommendation from one of our copy members, Pasta. So let I want to show you how quick it is if for you to plan your week um, using Preschool Cubby. So let's say you decide your kids are really into pasta and you wanna do a theme on this. You click on it, you click unlock pasta theme. The system is gonna ask you up at the top, you can see where it says you're about to use one of your theme credits. You get four three theme credits a month. So you can choose four themes every single month, any four themes that you want. So I'm gonna click okay. It says processing and then I'm gonna get a download button. So here is the download button. Um, I'm going to click that and it's going to open the theme. Now, right now, this is called a read only version, which means I could make changes in here, but they won't save permanently because this is the version that everybody sees when they come to this theme. But what you can do is over on the right hand side, let me just move my screen over, find your little download button, click it, and the system, your computer will ask you, hey, where do you want to save it? I want to save it here in the preschool themes folder. This is on my hard drive, or you could save it on a flash drive, and boom, it is now downloaded to your computer. You now own that theme forever. So let's see what happens when we go into that theme. So let's find, here's the pasta theme, and let me just bring this over here so you can see the whole thing. This is the front page, then there's the weekly planning form. As you can see, there are activities for every day of the week for circle time, art, math, science, music and movement, gross motor games that you should be able to do inside or outside, as well as a story time suggestion. Also at the bottom, at the bottom of this page, you'll see that I have suggestions for your more static interest centers. So a change that you can make for the week instead of changing it every day, right? Like your block center, dramatic play, easel, your sand and water table, as well as your writing center. And then in addition, you will find these weekly plans broken down into daily planning forms. On the daily planning forms, I'm oh, sorry about that. On the daily planning forms, here's your materials list. Here's what you'll need. And then it tells you how to carry out each and every one of these activities. Same thing for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So really all you need to do is grab a bin. I actually have five bins and I grab everything I'm going to need for Tuesday and throw it in Tuesday's bin. Everything I need for Wednesday, throw it in Wednesday's bin. I have five bins. I do this on Friday. My week is completely done for next week. So as you can see, this is under three minutes. While well, gathering your supplies may take you a little bit longer, but you could have your entire week planned and prepped in bins ready to go in under 30 minutes. This is huge time saver. Now, let's say you want to change something. Maybe you know on Friday you have, you're all taking a walk to the local park, let's say. What you can do is just go in here and change it. It's editable. So walk to park. That's what you're going to do on Monday for gross motor. So maybe here on Monday, you come down here to the gross motor section. 
you delete that out, walk to the park, and put any notes in here that you want. Don't forget emergency bags, permission forms, and water, or whatever notes that you want to put in here. And now what you can do is just save it, and it will save your changes. You hit File, Save. Now it's saved your changes. And you can just print it, and you are ready to go. In the theme, you'll find printable activities as well. Like there's always, this is how to dye pasta. Um, there's a, usually a file folder game. It might be a matching game. It might be a board game that you can print out. Um, there's um, a Play-Doh recipe in almost every theme. Activity maps to go along with the Play-Doh or clay that you might have. And this one also has a song poster. So it has all the words to the song as well as a song card. These song cards I love. I don't, here's a little tip if you don't already do this. Um, get an index card, draw a picture of the theme you're working on, and put the name of the song. Put them all in a can. We use a coffee can that we've ornately decorated. <laughs> and when you have a transition time, like you know, kids are putting their jackets on or changing their shoes, just bring out the can, have, the, have a child reach in and pull out a card, and that's the song you sing during the transition. That's why I love song cards. They're one of my favorite transition activities. Um, and then I always have calendar pieces that go along with the theme. Now, I personally don't use a calendar. I don't do calendar time. I don't think it's a good use of my, our circle time. However, I do have a calendar in Dramatic Play, and the children, each week, I just put the new cards out so the children can sort them by number. They can sort them by pattern. They can do whatever they want with these calendar pieces. So they might that might be in our hanging um, calendar in dramatic play. So that is the theme. So as you can see, I'm going to click no, I'm not going to save that. But as you can see, this is going to save you a lot of planning time. So now let's go to teacher resources. In the teacher resource section, you have access to some exclusive, um, exclusive downloads that you'll only have access to as a preschool copy member. So there are um, there are 13 activities. It's an ebook for math. Here's 20 math games. There are um, painting activities, 38 painting activities. These are 38 ways to paint not using a paintbrush. So you could use one a week if you have a 38 week program and just have some fun way to paint at the easel that's different every week. Um, here's a free bread theme. This is um, these are activity mats. These are uppercase and lowercase letters as well as numbers. So your children can use Play-Doh on them to practice their letter and number recognition and formation. Here are 45 of my favorite Play-Doh recipes, and there are just so much more. There's transition activities, different activities you can do, 24 different ideas on different transitions throughout your day, like when you have children, as I said, waiting to change their shoes or put their jackets on, different activities to keep them from going a little crazy. Also, all the themes up here at the beginning, my Preschool Planet standards, these themes are all aligned to um, standards that I've created, and these are not aligned to any specific state. They are just the most common um, preschool standards or frameworks that are used in by most programs. So it will at least help you to know which areas of growth and development your children are growing in when they participate in the activities. And then the final section that I wanted to go over very briefly is professional development. These are pre-recorded trainings. They're self-study. So you can take these anytime. You have access to all of these as soon as you become a member. They all are between an hour to two, some, some are three hours long. And as of now, there are 20 trainings in here that total over 30 hours of professional development. I am asked often if they will um, count towards your in-service for your state. That depends on your state. If your state accepts self-study as in-service hours, then yes, these will qualify. If your state requires that the, a training be submitted to their program or registry before it can apply, then no, it won't apply to this to yourself, to your um, in-service training. However, in-service training is always helpful. It's always very helpful to learn more about different areas of teaching, right? So here are just some of them. Block play, cooking in preschool, daily transitions, developmental milestones. So you can see it's two hours. This one's three hours. Dramatic play, easel art, file folder games, gross motor development, loose parts, math. Let's go to page two movement activities, outside play, process art, circle time, sand and water play, science, sensory play, story time, 
writing centers and writing stages. So that's what's in here as of now. And I try to add between five and 10. It's usually about five, two hour trainings each school year. So those are the areas um, of the membership. I hope that that was helpful and answered some of the questions that you might have about what you would have access to when you come into the membership members area if you become a member. Um, if you are still if you are interested in signing up, you'll find the links below to sign up. If you still have more questions, just hit reply to the email that you received, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may still have about becoming a member. So I hope to see you inside Preschool Cubby. Bye for now.